Hey guys, this is uh, Jeff here from eBay Addicts. Uh, if you're new here, I run the YouTube channel eBay Addicts and I try to find stuff for a low price and sell it for a higher price on eBay. I just went in here to the Cash Stop Pond. I'm right outside of Orlando and I try to negotiate with this guy. I'll show you all the merchandise, the stuff that I ended up getting. So, um, we hop in the car here in the Prius Mobile. So, here was my receipt here. It was $22.50. Um, I ended up buying a bunch of DVDs for 75 cents a piece. That's what they were asking and I asked the guy I'm like, hey, can you do 50 cents a piece? And he's like, uh, he's like, no, man He's like I have customers that come and pay 75 cents a piece Plus I went to the Goodwill next door and they were asking two dollars a piece for DVDs at the Goodwill So instead of me driving around and spending time and gas driving around the city looking for merchandise The guy said he could do 75 cents a piece out the door with no taxes or anything So I just said fine. I'll take it so I got 30 DVDs from this guy, so I'll show you what I got. This is the uh, Time Traveler's Wife DVD. This one is, what is this one here? The uh, the uh, Observe and Report Seth Rogen DVD. This is like a comedy movie. I don't know if this guy's like a mall cop or a police officer or what. Um, this one is uh, Sex in the City, Songs from the City. This is, I don't know, I guess it's like a musical DVD. This one is... Bruce Willis, Colin Farrell, Hearts War DVD. All the ones I'm showing you are new in the shrink wrap. This is a Bill Cosby as himself DVD. This one is definitely maybe. So that's interesting. Um, I rolled the dice on this one. This is called Florida Lake Sympathy Orchestra. And believe it or not, this is selling for 20 bucks a piece on eBay. That's new in the shrink wrap. This one was called In Good Company. It's full screen edition DVD, new in the shrink wrap. This one was Eli Stone DVD. This one is Sideways. It's a comedy movie. Is that? Uh, I thought it was Arnold Schwarzenegger there for a minute. I must be seeing things. It looks like him though. This one is Heidi DVD. It's new in the shrink wrap. This one is Bella DVD. This one is Wimbledon. Kristen, Kristen Dunst Wimbledon DVD. This one is 21. I thought it was a, like a casino movie, but it's uh, it's not. It's like an action movie. This is called What a Girl Wants. Actually, I think I remember that when it came out in theaters. I don't know why, but I remember that one. This one is called We Are Marshall DVD. New in the shrink wrap. This one is called Dragnet. Four classic shows. This one is Dances with the Stars Latin Cardio Dance. I never heard of that. This is Kinsley, uh, William Nielsen movie. This one was the best comedy. It's called About a Boy DVD, new in the shrink wrap. Alexander Director's Cut DVD, new in the shrink wrap. Got this one again, In Good Company DVD. This one was Adaptation. You still see the sticker on it for 20 bucks. This one was Honor Roll, Best of College Football. This one was Reverse the Curse of the Bambino. That's, uh, that was from the HBO. This one is a special edition of the I Love Lucy show. I got another one, the I Love Lucy show special edition. I might lot these up together or sell them individually. I'm not sure. Special edition, the Lucy show, the Lost Episode Marathon. This one is I Love Lucy show again. Another one special edition. And this one here was special edition Lucy show. This one, I got these for 50 cents a piece. I got eight DVDs for 50 cents a piece. So I spent $4.28. So I got this one here. This is the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers Super Bowl championship game. I think this is going for around 12 to $15 on eBay. Paid 50 cents for it. This one here is called The Marion Man and Betsy's Wedding. This one was... Uh, Star Trek. I think I actually saw this at the drive-in before. Star Trek DVD. This one is Shanghai Kiss DVD. This is The Rachel Papers. This is Hanging Up. This one is the uh, Andy Griffith Show. Four episodes. This one is Nim's Island. I thought this is a Disney movie. I guess not. So this is how we did. I don't always get you know, home run deals. Sometimes I try to negotiate and sometimes it works out. Sometimes it don't. 
That one pawn shop, I bought eight DVDs for 50 cents, so that came to $4. The other one, I just bought 30 DVDs for 75 cents, so it came to $22.50. So the total I spent for all this was $26.50. So if you take 38 DVDs, this is how much my spent total multiplied. Let's say on average you get $10 a piece. That would come up to $380 projected return. Then I'm going to divide it by the money spent, which was $26.50. That should give you a 14x rate of return. Now, real quick, guys, I wanted to let you know, um, somebody the other day asked me, and they were like, Jeff, what do you do with eBay customers that don't pay you, that they don't send payment over? Well, the first thing I do is... Um, I'll send them an invoice. After one day, if I, they haven't received payment from the eBay customer, I just send them an invoice, let them know, hey, by the way, here's your invoice, here's your total for what you need to pay, including shipping and everything. And then the second day, I will go ahead and send them a friendly payment reminder. You know, I'll just say, hey, by the way, I just, you know, you bought, you bought this item, I haven't received payment yet. You know, and it'll just say, I can't ship out the item until I receive payment. It's just a generic payment reminder. You don't want to be a jerk or an asshole to the eBay customers. You want to get repeat customers. So you want to be nice and friendly as you can. Then the third, after the second day, on the third day, then I usually will open up an unpaid item case. I'll be like, hey, by the way, uh, you know, I haven't received payment. So after 48 hours, you know, I send a un open up an unpaid item case. Because these people are buyers, they're busy picking their kids up from school or cooking dinner or giving kids a bath. They're not on eBay 24-7. They're not thinking about eBay 24-7. So you got to be nice. So those are the three things I do. First one I do is send an invoice. Second thing I do is send a payment reminder. Then the third day, I usually will open up an unpaid item case after 48 hours. And it's not a big deal. If the person doesn't pay, they get a strike on their account for an unpaid item case. And I just relist the item and go on about my day. But those are the three things I do to deal with um, unpaid items. And one more thing is somebody asked me about slow sales. I made a video last week about my five tips for slow sales. So the number one thing I would recommend you do is just keep getting inventory every day, listing items every day, and shipping out items every day. But if you need more tips or tricks, I'll link the video below to give you guys my five tips to help with slow eBay sales. That's it for me, guys. I'm going to run, I'm going to bounce, and I'm going to head out of here and get to work. You guys have a great day. eBay Addicts, peace out. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.